Hello there, internet. Uh, so I've been putting off this spreadsheet that I've been supposed to make for work for a few weeks, and I finally ran out of anything else that I could possibly justifiably work on. Uh, and so instead of actually just sitting down and doing the spreadsheet, I wrote a Ruby script that talks to ChatGPT uh, and, and tries to get it to build the spreadsheet for me. Uh, and so what, what I'd like to demo for you here is a little CLI that I wrote. Uh, it starts by asking you what columns you want. So I'm going to say, you know, name and say, hey, this is the name of a child. Maybe uh, more columns. Yes. Uh, next one is grade. Uh, you know, I'll say school grade, like i.e. like a K-12 grade. Uh, more columns. Uh, nope, just that. Now here I can provide whatever un unstructured data that I might want. I I'll just type narratively. Uh, I'll say like, uh, I have four children named... Jack, Jill, Jane, and Gorby, Puff, Puff, Thunder, Horse, the third, and their ages are 6, 8, 13, and 16, respectively. See, ya, see, ya. see what it does with this. So it's going to generate uh, a JSON response back that I'll render as a preview table, and then we can decide whether we want to accept it. Or, or ask for modifications. Okay, so uh, it's giving me grade one, three, eight, and 11. That's not bad. Uh, we're gonna say, nope. Okay, now, now the AI here has a clarifying question. It can ask as many clarifying questions as it likes in each response. Is it correct to assume the age corresponds to grade? So six is one, yep, uh, yes, that's correct. Um, please provide, okay, use first names only, because you can see that go, the Puff Puff Thunder Horse gets uh, lopped off there. See, it should just truncate that while keeping Jack, Jill, Jane. Okay, perfect. Uh, now I'm going to ask something harder. I'm going to say, note accept, um, uh, provide grades for the Japanese school system instead of US. See what it does with this. Okay, so you can see grade one, grade two, junior high school to high school one. That's because the grade counter starts over for, for elementary, middle, and high school. So that's what it's probably trying to do. We say, no. Okay, so is it correct to interpret Japanese school system six years, grade one, eight? Um, yes. Uh, provide the Japanese grade in kanji. So like format it like a Japanese person might. See what it does. All right, so it kind of did it. Uh, it says first year, second year, and then middle school, second year, and high school, first year. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just accept this because that's close enough for now. Spreadsheet saved. I can open it up now with open result CSV, and that'll open up in numbers. And zoom in here, and uh, you know now this is a spreadsheet that I could start you know work from. So my goal is to uh, stop this screencast and then go see if this can help me with my work spreadsheet. Uh, uh, and I, I'm sure I'm going to be sorely disappointed, <laughs> but maybe it'll be a good starting point. So uh, uh, thanks for riding along with me on this one. And uh, if you'd be interested in me open sourcing uh, this script or, or maybe uh, turning it into a Ruby gem, sound off in the comments, like, subscribe, and yada yada. Anyway, go have a great day.